what give you the inspiration that, oh, I want to establish and build that big air in that area and with the industrial site at a back job? Well, I, I wouldn't take all the credit for selecting the site for Big Air because that is a collective decision made by Bocock and also IOC along with FIS, Federation of International Skiing. And if you know, Big Air sport is a very extreme sport um, that has been followed by urban fans, urban fans from probably the age 15 to 30. You have a very youthful, you have a very passionate generation. So the best sites for these kind of sport is a urban plaza. But in Beijing, we certainly have something that is even better than an urban plaza. I remember the day when the leader of Bocock show IOC and FIS, the Shogun site, and tell them, say, look at this, we have this. Is this as good as you would expect? And everyone's response was like, oh my goodness, this is even better. Why don't we put this very extreme, very contemporary sport against the backdrop of this industrial heritage? And make um, a very strong statement of how the Olympic movement may be incorporated in the reuse of an industrial heritage. Mm -hmm. And then everyone is on, was on board. Uh, by starting the design, we, we, did, we did start with the very idea, very belief that everything, no matter what we are going to do, we have to continue the memory of that site. Yeah, and also for the Snow Rui, because it was built uh, according to the natural landscape. And do you think it will create some challenges for the ski jumpers? Um, after observing most of the recent ski yeah. jump slopes, we did have a hunch that since most of the ski jump slopes were built right into the mountain, mm. actually they become big boundaries separating two parts of the mountain. So this part of the surface of the mountain and that part wouldn't be as continue as before this thing was constructed. And that would be a breaking point for the natural flow of surface water and also for the natural migration of some wild lives. So what we did is to actually lift this profile a little bit away from the surface of the mountain so everything can happen below. Nature can reclaim the surface of the mountain below the ski jump. And then you have to make these structures designed for superhumans can be incorporated in everyday life, in daily life of the common people. Mm. That's why we had this idea following the image of a auspicious Chinese object, Ru Yi. Mm, you yeah. know it very well. It has a disc on the top and then a disc below connected by an S curve. We did this peak club um, featuring multi-purpose space and also the stadium is designed as a standard stadium. Mm. So multiple events may be held there. Yeah, and Beijing is committed to host a grand, uh, open and inclusive and a clean Olympics game. And so based on your understanding, do you think the grand games is approachable or is it available? It, it has three things. And basically, it's talking about being green or, or, or leaving um, a minimum carbon footprint. The first thing is the minima, minimization of footprint um, in nature. If you look at things built in the mountains, mm -hmm. um, then everything, most of the things are lifted from the ground. Um, and going back to my previous um, comment that actually this leaves the surface, flora and, and wildlife. The second element is to maximize the reuse of existing structures. And the third is about the method of construction. What kind of material do you use in this construction? What kind of approach you use in the assemblage of the materials? Um, for Beijing 2022, um, this thing has been, I would say, and very much emphasized is to use recyclable materials and energy supply, 
you would prefer it come from renewable resources. We, we call it blue energy or green energy, mm. but you can't use grey energy, which is coming um, from coal. And most of the energy used here comes from wind and solar. And most of the materials that can be reused after the discipline, disassemblage of these structures, it can be used again. But I would say in Beijing 2022, at least for the running of the games in terms of energy cycle, Beijing 2022 has been, I would say, as carbon neutral as possible.